Oh, you'll just, you'll just, you'll have to excuse me for a moment. It's just quite heartbreaking knowing that this is going to be the last Origin and Stellaris Dev Diary for Overlord that we cover. But in all seriousness, as I like to say, this is probably going to be maybe the second to last Dev Diary cover. I don't know. Maybe we'll get into the patch notes. Who knows? Anyway, we have the last Origin to cover. I know that's for sure, unless they pull a wacky... Um, last minute reveal and that is with the progenitor hive there's been a lot of speculation because we didn't quite know we had like a loose idea of what it was with hive autonomy but we couldn't exactly narrow it down well now we know what it is and let's dive right into it so this progenitor hive is quite unique because it starts with some significant debuffs for example you get your combat ability basically cut in half but as a progenitor hive, you have a very, very unique opportunity to, instead of just expanding the normal way and building outposts, building colonies as a hive, you actually can drop, um, and if you like sector management, this is going to be fun for you. If you don't, this is going to be a living hell, but you can drop your individual hive members because they have some sort of autonomy, they're semi-independent, and they will essentially manage their own colonies and you'll create your own hive vassals. So it is really the HRE we've been asking for, I've been asking for, if I'm going to be honest here, uh, for quite a while. And there really is a few stipulations with it. Of course, the combat debuffs are kind of big. I mean, 50% sublight speed, you are going to be slow as hell. But the sec releasing your sectors as subjects is kind of interesting to think about, um, as well as the fact that there are also... Um, some fairly big buffs with offspring oversight to kind of balance out those initial debuffs so the sublight speed isn't going to be too bad um it'll actually kind of be a little bit over the cap and then you also have your individual station modules that give you some pretty big bonuses to evasion ship fire rate and accuracy as well as sublight speed uh, and then you also have the unique building of the offspring nest and they're kind of an upgrade of the spawning pools for regular hives and that they also produce um menial drone i think I'm not too, I don't play hives too much, but I think menial drone output boosts are um, maybe a little bit higher than the regular standard spawning pools, but I definitely know that the offspring led armies um, are a new addition to that progenitor hive. And then we also have the missing offspring debuff, um, which is essentially if you do not have any offspring leading um, your planet or your colony, there are going to be some big, big debuffs. Now, something that's really cool is that for your subjects, if you get them as a as a progenitor hive and they are not a hive or they are just not incorporated, you can actually build your own offspring nest on their planet to help um, kind of get them up and running. They're not going to be um, exactly as efficient as your own drones, but it is going to give them a little buff and it's not like they're going to be afraid of you assimilating them unless you are like some kind of fanatic devourer or something like that i don't even think that's possible with the progenitor origin but um you should be able to maintain a fairly stable relationship with your non-high vassal so it really is interesting in how things play out i honestly wish we got some kind of there's the banana <laughs> i honestly wish we had some kind of human centric i don't know a less high focused um origin where you could have your own little mini vassals and create your own little like panel of different um, Elector, it's kind of similar to EU4. Maybe that's just me, but I would have liked to see something like that um, where you are a very decentralized kind of country with a bunch of different vassals. But I guess you can get your fix through the Progenitor Hive here. All right, that is enough of my boring commentary. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy my droning voice, please subscribe and like for more content like this. Otherwise, I should be gone for a few days um, as I move back to my home state, so there will be a bit of disruption, but I should have some videos planned ahead, so we'll see how that goes. And otherwise, stay subscribed and uh, hit that notification bell. All right, love you guys. Peace.